What's up guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you my summer makeup routine. It's just super simple and very natural looking. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply this Kate Somerville Nourish Moisturizer. And then apply it to my face. And then next I'm going to use this Bare Minerals Original Foundation. And it's like powder foundation, which I am obsessed with for summer. Because I don't like wearing a lot of makeup. And I'm using the shade Light 08. Which over the summer I might have to darken it once I get more tan. All I do is pour a little bit in the lid. And then I take my Bare Minerals beautiful finish brush and rub it around here like so and then all i'm gonna do is blend it in circles around my whole face i'm gonna put some concealer on since i'm freaking out right now have makeup done all good okay so i'm gonna use this nars um radiant creamy concealer and I'm using the shade medium one custard so I'm just gonna put some right here my nose cover up any blemishes and usually like if I'm doing my full makeup I'll do more concealer but just because I want a more a light look I'm not going to do that and also it looks in the corner of my head right here like I cut my head open so basically what happened was I was using um, zit cream and it kind of like messed up my skin for some reason so what's good and then i'm just using a beauty blender to blend everything as you can see this is like the real legit like beauty blender but real techniques has one and you can get it at like ulta i think even maybe walmart or target and it's like orange and it literally works just as good sometimes i actually like it better than this one and then i'm gonna go back to my bare minerals and kind of just pat it right here since i don't want to mess up what was just done and then i always make sure to put like a lot more around my mouth because i feel like from eating and stuff it like my makeup like comes off a lot easier oh i think i'm gonna add a little bit more onto my cheeks i always like I don't like when I have red on my cheeks. I'm weird. Like most girls like blush, but let's see. Is that even just I don't even know what I just said and I don't even think that made sense, but whatevs. Okay. Next. Why do I always do this? Next, like I'm gonna take this NARS um, blush in the color orgasm and I am just going to it's like destroyed i like destroyed it so i'm just gonna pat a little bit and, and then i'm gonna smile and then just kind of dab it along here like along my cheekbone and then blend it on in and then after i'm done with my blush i go to my highlighter and i'm using the anastasia glow kit and i'm going to use the color summer just take it rub a little bit on to my brush tap it off i feel like in summer it's always like it's always bomb to have more highlighter than not enough because you just want to shine bright like a diamond i'm gonna put some um chapstick on i like to do this before i put any lip balm on after i do my foundation because i feel like it kind of sets in before putting any lipstick on for this look i'm actually not going to put any eyeshadow on because i just want it to be really natural i'm gonna just take some of my concealer and just rub it in on my lids just to give like some color and such and i'll kind of just rub it in right here too i actually just got a lash lift today so i'm not gonna put any mascara on they look so good so if you live in Utah and you need someone to do an eyelash lift on you, hit up Skin by September. I'll put her handle right here so you can go follow her. Hit her up for a lash lift. It is literally the best thing to get. It's so much better than eyelash extensions and it doesn't rip out your eyelashes like eyelashes, eyelash extensions does. I've had lash extensions before like a couple years ago. Hated them because they just ripped out all my eyelashes. I'm like, honey, 
girl can't do that. Okay, so for mascara, Better Than Sex by Too Faced. I literally swear by this stuff, but since I got my lashes done today, I don't want to put any on because it can mess it up, but I will put some on maybe like once the tint kind of wears off a little bit. I want to show you how I do apply my mascara. Um, I'm not actually going to put it on, but just to show you because that's like half of how to make it look super good. What you're going to do is when you put it on, you're going to go all the way to the bottom of your lash and wiggle it up. And then you're going to do it right here and right here. And when I do the corner, I actually like to like make it almost super extra to kind of give it like a cat eye like winged look, you know? I honestly don't wear mascara on the bottom of my eyelashes because I feel like it looks like too much. But sometimes I do put eyeshadow under it just to kind of like make my eyes pop a little bit more. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in the color Sunkist. I love this bronzer. It's literally so natural looking and blends really good. And I'm just using like the Eco, I think it's like, I don't even know what it's called. I thought it was an Eco's brush. I think it is like Eco Tools or something. And this is just a powder for a one brush. It's like literally $5 at Walmart. It's amazing. And I just kind of rub it in the place where I contour my face. But just because I want a more natural look, I'm not going to contour. But I will do a full coverage makeup tutorial for you as well. And then, oh shoot. I forgot to take my makeup down my neck. And I'm just going to take the brush and rub it down my neck because somehow I forgot to do that. Take bronzer. And then I'm actually gonna close my eyes and just add a little shimmer, add a little shimmer, get crazy. <laughs> what did I just say? I don't even know. Now it's time for the brows, and I'm using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. I have the color or the shade six. I have always used the Anastasia um, Brow powder duo and I use the color granite. I do use this sometimes but I've been literally obsessed with this. So I am just going to brush up my brows. Put this out. Like I literally put it out the tiniest bit because I don't want to overdo my brows because as you can see my brows are already really thick and full as it is but I do, I love outlining them because it just kind of make them look as best I can. So I'm just going to come into places where it's a little bit sparse and I'm going in super light because this is super dark. But if you overline them and it gets a little bit too much, just brush it out for a while. I literally take so long to do my eyebrows because I'm like so picky with how they look. It probably takes me the longest like that and when I wear eyeliner, it probably takes me the longest to do. Girls gotta have good brows. The front is probably the trickiest part because if you overline it, it starts to look unnatural and we don't want that. You don't want it to look like you sharpie on, you sharpie on your eyebrows. <laughs> Sounds like I said sharpie peed on your eyebrows, but you know, it's the same thing. Same thing, same thing. Like, isn't this thing just like amazing? Like it literally makes your brows look so good. Like I wish I could understand, but benefit, you did me good on this one. I'm obsessed. Okay, so the last thing is lipstick, and this is the Bare Minerals XYZ. So I just want a really light look, so I'm just gonna dab it in a couple places and then just kind of blend it with my fingers and rub my lips together. For the finishing touch, we are going to add the Urban Decay chill makeup setting spray this stuff is life-changing and i'm just going to lightly spray it all over my face and i feel like this is like another thing too that helps your makeup look like really dewy is adding makeup spray okay you guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let's have you comment below what your favorite makeup product is and one you cannot live without and make sure to follow me on instagram and i will see you next time